deny, deny, deny Give you all of me But instead just turn around with your Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. So I'm very excited to be recording today. I've been talking about this for three years and I finally got the guts to sit down, have the whole backdrop, have everything here. So I'm very excited. Today I think I'm going to do a favorites video. I want you guys to know the products I like and a little bit more about me. Well, I think I'm going to start off with how I do my routine anyway and tell you guys what I use. So one thing I, like, I think I'm very popular for, especially on my Instagram, are my eyebrows. I'm sure you guys can tell I'm not, I'm not the one who does the natural brow, let's just say that. I like a good Instagram brow. So I recently just found, I've been using the Anastasia one, Brow Wiz, for a very long time. I like using a pencil because I feel like I have a lot more control. And I actually just found the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and I'm obsessed with it. Now, one of the big things about this is that the amount of product that the pencil holds is so much more than everything else that's on the market. It's almost like double, and it's only like three bucks. So, and you get one of those coupons from uh, Ulta, you're good. So I always start off with my eyebrows um, because I like a clean slate on them, because if I put foundation, I feel like the oils mix up and it doesn't go on as well. So I fill in my eyebrows with these, and then I've been using the NYX Eyebrow Gel. This is a long-lasting, smudge-proof, waterproof eyebrow gel. This stuff is a little liquidy, but it does tend to get a little um, thick, and it gives you that, like, stamped brow, like, this will not move. I've literally gone swimming with this, and bitch, a bitch still has brows, so that's a big staple. And then if I'm trying to be extra, and I know I'm going to be out the whole entire night, I'll set it up with my Wet n Wild brow powder and I'll just kind of dab it on top just so it like locks it and then like completely. For my face, I have two primers that I use. When I feel dry, I usually will use the Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. I know, this looks ghetto as hell, but you obviously can see I use it a lot. Um, it's the Pores No More and this will literally fill in any pore, any acne scars, anything you have, this Upset. Um, and then also for my oily days, which is probably like all the time, I use one heck of a blot primer by uh, Soap and Glory. This stuff keeps me matte all day. It's nice and tacky, so it holds on to my foundation. Now, speaking of foundation, one of my holy, holy grail foundations for the longest time, I think I've been using this for four years, I recommend it to everyone, I use it on all my clients, is the Cover FX Total Coverage Cream Foundation. Bitch, when I tell you this stuff literally can give you the most natural look or the most full beat of your life. Like this will go full, full coverage and still look like skin. There's nothing I've found on the market that's like this. It works with oily skin, dry skin, everything. So this is a must. Uh, I'm N80 because I like to be tan, so don't judge. For concealer, y'all gonna think I'm mad extra. And that's one thing you should know about me and off this video. So, I like to use under my eyes to start. It's the Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. I use this in sand. So, what I like to do is I use this on the bottom to kind of use it as like a semi full coverage but hydrating. So, I like the hydration under this. And then I have to use the Holy Grail of Holy Grails. I use the Tarte ta um, Shape Tape. I use it in two colors. I use it in medium from like here around uh, to the end. And then I use light medium from the whole beginning so it brightens it and gives it that nice like lifted look. Because the bitch doesn't want to look saggy. So what's up? Next to set my under eyes, I use two powders. You guys are probably saying like, why are you so extra? And this is an everyday look. So, so I use the Cody Air Spun, which is a favorite for years. I use it in translucent extra coverage. This shit is like three bucks, so pick it up. And so this one is more of a neutral color, so it's not too yellow and it's not too pink. Because sometimes if I go too pink, it looks gray under my eyes. If I go too yellow, it just doesn't look right. So what I like to do is I use the Cody Airspun and the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and Banana, and I mix them. This is a little too drying, to be perfectly honest. So I like mixing it to get a little bit of the yellow uh, and to get that highlighted look. And this neutralizes it, so I combine those. 
And so first two, I like to dab those two powders using this little brush I got from Japanese, which I'm obsessed with. And to lock it in, I watch another YouTuber who I'm positive you guys know about. His name is Thomas Albert. And he uses the... I'm extra as fuck. I have a little bag for my beauty blender. Well, it's not a beauty blender, but it's from Japanesque. Don't look at it. This is so embarrassing. It's a Japanesque beauty sponge. This stuff is phenomenal. I like this so much more than the beauty blender, and I think more than the Real Techniques, which was for the longest time my, like, ride or die. So I use this to lock in all the powder, because I like to bake under my eyes and on my skin, because it fills in my pores. Face powder-wise, to take off all the, um powder, the translucent powders that I have. I use the MAC Studio Fix. Oh my god, I'm about to drop this shit. This shit is not, this shit is expensive. I use the Studio Fix from MAC. I use a big uh, cover effects brush, and I usually use it to like help control the oils because the bitch does not like looking oily. Only glowy. So yeah, so I use this with the cover effects brush, stamp it in and clean it off, and it gives you the most flawless airbrush look of your life. So yeah. Next, to get this, I just came from Aruba bronzing look, I use the, once again, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. This shit is the bomb. This is like a tan in a powder. This is like your best friend. I like a warm uh, bronzer. I know some people like to use a neutral, um, but that turns to, tends to turn gray on me, so I definitely use the um, more warmer color and bitch look at me. Uh, bronze. Contour, I like to use, it's actually a powder foundation, and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in Cocoa. This bitch is dark, and it gives me the best contour, because like I said, I don't like a great contour, so this is everything. I also use the contouring color all around my eyes, under my eyes, to give it like a nice natural, like smoky, because I feel like if it's too flat in one color, it tends to not look natural. No, I'm not natural, but whatever. And then to moisturize my lips and to give it a little like color, I use the Fenty Beauty, what is this? Fenty Glow Gloss Balm or something like that? Gloss Balm. This stuff is everything. I use it before I go to bed um, because it has a lot of oils and all that stuff in here, so it makes you like, it makes your lips soft. And I wear it just to give it a little more like juicy plumpness. So I'm wearing it right now. Bitch. Anyway, to be a little extra, I also use a little bit of the Voluminous Million Lashes. <sighs> I'm obsessed with this mascara. This mascara literally gives you the most beautiful, fluttery, wispy lashes, and everyone that I've used this on has picked it up, and it's that good. So, bitch, pick yourself up a L'Oreal Million Lash. I always get waterproof because it helps hold the curl. Uh, for some brushes that I like, I usually use... Uh, this e.l.f. brush is everything for um, bronzing. It doesn't have a name on it. I don't think. It's the 101, but this line of brushes is amazing. I love it. It's fluffy. It's so soft. And I feel like because I have so much bronzer on here, and it looks like it's part of it, so I don't know. We'll see how it looks. And then I also use the Real Techniques buffing brush for my foundation. This blends out my foundation beautifully, keeps the coverage, and that's all I can ask for on the brush. Nice and simple, not too expensive. It's a bitch's best friend. So yeah, I think that's all I use on my face. So if you made it this far, you guys are obviously obsessed with me. You obviously love me. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel down below. And also, a big thing is please leave a comment down below because I really want to hear back from you guys. I love hearing feedback. So if you guys like this video, please let me know down below. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see for the future. I can do client videos, I can do vlogs, I can do makeup on myself, uh, and all that. So just let me know down below, and I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of my family, so keep on watching.